So he just moved that entire thing with the tugboat, got out of the tugboat, got onto the backhoe, and it appears as if he's gonna pull himself up to the dock. Acres Campground. You said this is a pretty new campground, right? Yeah, it's pretty new. They haven't been open very long. When I called because of the internet issues we had in Michigan, I asked them if they could put us in a site without a lot of trees so we could use our Starlink. And she said, oh, we're, we're new. The trees aren't grown yet. And there are a lot of you know, five, six foot tall trees out there. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's and, very and nice. And then when I showed, she's like, if, you, if there's another one that you like better, just tell me and we'll, we'll see what we can do. So they were super nice. Got us a local paper. Got us, um, or she offered complimentary trash bags, which I thought was really nice. And then she's like, and you're traveling with pets too? And I said, yes. And so they gave us a little complimentary bag of dog food, which I thought was really sweet. So we're excited. We have this nice open campground. I think there's a dog area we gotta go find. There's a bathhouse pretty close. The sites are pretty clean. There's a grill. You get a grill with your campsite. Full hookups, really easy back in. And then we have a gas station literally at the front, which is part of the campground. Um, so you have your gas station here, convenience center if you need something, gas, there's a propane, and then there's a shuttle that comes by. And she said that it was complimentary to us. I don't know what, there was something that made it complimentary to us, but there's a shuttle that comes by that can take us to different points um, throughout Door County. So that's kind of cool. It's a nice campground, and when I called to set everything up, they were really nice on the phone, really helpful. Uh, Angela mentioned they have the gas station up front, but it has some grocery items and stuff like that. And they have a car wash on site, so I can actually wash That's my truck. Right, yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, Dovetail Acres is a pretty nice spot in Door County, up here in Sister Bay, Wisconsin. If you're up this way, and you should come up this way, because it's a pretty cool place to be, check them out. Reasonable prices, uh, discounts if you stay a week. I think there's another discount that kicks in at two weeks and another one at a month, but it was pretty significant yeah. just for a week. Yeah, so. it, was, it was a pretty good discount. So, yeah. and full hookups at every site, which is a big plus for me. So, yeah, we're excited to kick off the week and show you a little bit of Door County. Door County's Northern Sky Theater, heartwarming musicals to delight the whole family. Whether you join us Another under the stars day. at our Peninsula we found a drive -in, in theater in summer, or Pretty stoked. indoors at the all new Creative Center Theater this fall, and they have ice cream. Sky is a wonder filled experience. Make out. Uh, mouthful of Reese's. Yes, even better. <laughs> Ready to go eat some breakfast? Let's do some breakfast at the Rusty Tractor Door County Breakfast Barn. Scratch Rusty Tractor. There was an hour of wait for breakfast. At nine o'clock in the morning. At nine o'clock in the morning. So I guess it's a, a hopping joint. We're gonna go find somewhere else. Breakfast, take two. We're gonna try out Wanda Jean's Family Restaurant. They're supposed to have some good breakfast food here. We're actually down in Sturgeon Bay now. We drove another nine miles to find a place to eat. And we had some things we wanted to check out down here anyway. So it's almost 10 o'clock and we're taking our second swing at breakfast, so. It could taste like crap. And I think at this point, we're just excited to have some food. So here we go. Food. Look at all those Canadian gooses. There's a lot of Canadian gooses out here.
Let's go swimming! Guess where we're going? Where are we going? We're going on a date. It's date night. It's date night. We made reservations last week at the post office restaurant in Door County. They have a fish boil that they do, and it's a whole process. I'm pretty stoked. I've been thinking about this all week. Yeah, be nice for a Tuesday night. Have a little date night, go eat some fish, see what's going on in town here, and see what we can show you. Let's go on a date. Go on iron one because it's so hard. It's uh, such a dense wood when you cut it with your chainsaw, it blows sparks. <laughs> Door County Fish Boil. I am the boil master here at the old post office. Woo! Woo! Locally caught Lake Michigan whitefish. They're caught from both sides of the peninsula, depending on the time of year. And we buy all of our fish from local fishermen right here in Door County. We get fresh fish delivered just about every other day. It takes them just seconds to pop off the spine bone and the little bones go right along with them. So you'll have just some perfectly beautiful whitefish steaks. Scandinavian tradition, it was started off by Swedish and Norwegian immigrants back in the 1800s up here in Door County. Northern Door County where you guys are at is very rich in Scandinavian heritage. You kind of see it all over up here. Fish boils are a part of our old Scandinavian heritage as well. Uh, if you came to Door County back in those days, you came up here by steamship. They didn't build the highways this far north on the peninsula until the late 1920s. One, two, three. Of fun. It was a lot of fun. And the food was really good. It was good. And you don't like fish. I don't like fish, but that was really good fish. Of course, they said they caught the fish uh, no, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. They, we had 115 or 120. Uh, uh, I think they were, they were cooking enough fish for 125 people is what they were doing. There were a lot of people. And they said that in peak season, they do three to 400 at a time. So our group was very small. Cuts and boils about 35,000 pounds of fresh caught fish per year. That's wild. That was pretty cool. That was so fun. And then we they do assign you tables. They ask you, hey, we're going to have a lot of people. Since you only have two people, can we pair you with another person at a table? And we're like, yeah, sure, no problem. Um, they ended up being a really cool couple. Yeah, we totally ended, random. We ended up shutting down. That was a surprise to everyone. Hi, Eris. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hi, baby. In the restaurant down, like we finally had to clear. Now, hold on. By shutting the restaurant down, she means we stayed there till 8 o'clock. <laughs> and yes, the restaurant was closing. <sighs> We'll see where Wednesday night takes us. just moved that entire thing with the tugboat and got out of the tugboat got onto the backhoe and it appears as if he's gonna pull himself up to the dock I saw him get out of the boat run up the back on the ladder and jump onto the backhoe and there's a steel pole there and this was not a young man doing this Toledo. The 
is a one-man show. That's incredible. So for everybody back home at Z-Dock, I've done some interesting things to secure or anchor a boat, but this takes the cake. And you know, no pressure if he messes it up either, because there's probably a $700,000 yacht sitting right behind us. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't seem panicked at all. I, something tells me he's done this before. He might have done this before. Scenic Overlook. Is it Ellis? Yeah, Scenic Overlook at Ellis Park, right here in Sister Bay, Wisconsin. We just swung in here on a whim, and it's absolutely beautiful. Kind of a small parking lot area, but just kind of a scenic overlook and a nice place to watch the sun go down. And we found it, but you don't want to drop your phone and or GoPro camera down there because a, there's no way to get to it, and B, you'd never find it amongst all the trees. But there's still some boats out moving around too, and it's only about 55 right now. Just incredible. <laughs> 